It will show you how to add collaborators into your new Titan dashboard. Now, what is a collaborator? Well, first of all, I'll show you where you can find it. First thing you need to do is click, once you log in, click on my account, my account, then users. And then finally, you have collaborators. What are collaborators used for? Well, a few things. The easiest way to understand what a collaborator is, when you use our docgen button to either send for signature or access documents to download, email or sign or void, you every user that clicks on this button and needs access to these documents is called a collaborator. Okay, so if you want to send it for signatures, you click on your sign button or you want to void it. All these things can be done by a collaborator. And if you go to our pricing on our website, under our licenses, they are called docgen users. Okay, so docgen users and collaborators are the same thing. How much are they? Well, we've listed that on our website. Currently, this is the price. It may change, it may not, but this is what it is at the moment. And if you have credit card on the file, you can buy them directly from uh, the dashboard or you can tell us and we can obviously assign it and, and give you the quote. But to add it, you simply click on add more. Now, there are a few things. First of all, if you're connected to Salesforce, um, then you have all your list of Salesforce users available. All right, and now you can go ahead and choose any. So let's say if I choose this one here, go next. Now I can decide which document and I'm talking about this button here, you've got plenty of different documents here, I can decide which document this user can see. And the way they can see them is by checking the submit. And these are specifically forms, but you also have sign as well. And here you can say, okay, well this collaborator can send it for signature, they can also void a document. So forms, sign, that's all you really need to know. And every one you submit, will be available to them in the document library here within, uh, within the Titan um, button, which is the Titan doc gen. And really, it's that simple. And once you've added it, boom, your collaborator is in there just like that. If you want to remove them, click on the minus and they are gone. Now, you can also add an entire profile. Let's say you didn't want to add them individually. You have group under sales users. Same thing, you go next. Now, if you check this and you check this and uh, this and this or many other documents, now those documents are available to your entire sales profile or whatever profile that you select. So again, relatively straightforward. If you have permission sets, you can also do the same thing. You just choose, go next and assign your permissions. It's really that easy. And then if you wanna assign them manually, you can also do that as well. You can, for example, I'll add my details and then if I click next, again, I now have available um, that I can add them as a submit access. Now, something you need to be mindful of, this is really, really important and it trips up many users. If their sole purpose is just to be a collaborator, do not give them read, write, delete permissions. In fact, do not ever check these boxes at all if they are just collaborators. For collaborators, the only thing you should be interested in is the submission, under sign, if I have any documents here, which I do. So here, again, for collaborator, these are the only two check boxes you're interested in. For submission, again, these, these are the only check box you're interested in. And for web, it's the same story. You're interested, in fact, for web, for collaborators shouldn't have any, at the moment, um, role to play with. And theme, same story, and report, same story. What will happen is if you give them read and write access, they will become editors. Now, you may be that an editor, you've already added an editor, therefore, if you've already added an editor and you've given them full permission, you don't need to add them as a collaborator because they already have the permissions. But if you're just adding them as a collaborator, be aware not to check these three at any time, otherwise it will create them as a user and it causes all sorts of issues. So you wanna try and avoid that. But that's it, that's how easy it is to add a collaborator and the different ways you can add a collaborator. And uh, yeah.